la 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 uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh no no ah ah what ah i wish the le i wish the nether was way less deadly well don't worry little one because in this lab we are trying to figure out just how well we can pacify these deadly dangerous creatures so yeah hey guys partly pink here uh today you may have noticed that i have an inventory of uh pretty cool stuff and that is because i am recording on my preferred version of the game which is bedrock edition and this realm and this is a realm uh, which belongs to my friend Mr. Master Lance. So, yeah, there's the staircase. Before you say, wow, you've made this whole thing yourself, I haven't. Uh, I made it, it's true that I made it myself, but I cheated. I went into creative mode to build it. Uh, and that is fine. Um, we are allowed to cheat on this on this realm. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, so this is my Nether pacification lab. M this machine right here. This machine should pacify. Well, should take the energy, the passive energy of this strider, hence the blue line, and inject it into this hostile blaze, hence the red line. Uh, as just a bit of backstory for this, for this thing, uh, test subject one was a cow from the overworld and the over and the overworld mob died from the pressure of the nether mob um sort of being pressed onto it uh test subject two was an enderman from the end uh and it exploded from the extreme heat obviously none of this ever happened but i just made this as a small detail and then um and then this is the strider don't mention the nether uh, the nether mob is actually making some progress because it lives with these creatures so yeah it can withstand the force and heat in here we have a theory that prolonged exposure to cuteness may just may cure the blazes hostility so uh, where'd you go he's camera shy anyway <laughs> um yeah that is our blaze right there and he is trapped very much trapped in this pink room of course all of this is just for show there are no real experiments going on in here the nether is always going to be deadly and that's kind of the beauty of it Anyway, this is like our source grass block right here. So we're injecting the grass through this pipe and into the nether. This was not my original idea. I got this from Grian's mycelium resistance um, video on Hermitcraft Season 7. Hermitcraft Season 7, they have this but it's mycelium you should check it out it's a really good series uh, anyway so here we have a viewing window and uh, you can see that the grass is being injected into the nether you may think this is just a waste of time but in this lab we believe that maybe if we inject grass into the nether the nether mobs the nether hostile mobs will uh or could uh potentially um see the material from the overworld which is a lot more peaceful at least in my opinion 
and um, they may just um, sort of get. Uh, I don't know how to explain really, but the point is, uh, in this lab, we believe that the nether mobs will be cured by seeing a passive material such as grass in their horrible nether nethery fiery death nether a death dimension <laughs> and through this door our final room is um, our water injection so this pipe runs into this portal which um, runs water into the nether uh, this idea didn't really honestly this idea didn't really work I'm gonna be honest with you didn't work that well but well we tried we're trying everything in this lab because we want the nether to be safe of course, again, like I said, this is all for show. The nether will always be deadly and dangerous. But, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link to, um, to Hermitcraft, to the Hermitcraft episode down in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye. I'll even stand next to the strider.